Rusty versus the Robo Squirrel. <laughs> Sorry about that, Mr. Higgins. We can't get bites to stop chasing squirrels. <laughs> well, I guess robot dogs will be robot dogs. <laughs> I brought those nuts and bolts you wanted. Thanks, Mr. Higgins. We can never have too many nuts and bolts to hold our stuff together. <laughs> that squirrel alone. Oh! What about something that wouldn't mind being chased? I know just the thing. The Robo Squirrel 800. Perfect for bites to chase all he wants. He is a speedy little fella. Yeah, too speedy for bites. Well, thanks again for the nuts and... Whoa! Where did all the nuts and bolts go? You don't think Robo's... Looks like he's doing what squirrels do, collecting nuts. Only instead of the tree nuts that real squirrels collect. He's collecting the metal variety, the kind that hold things together. We'd better shut him down. We've got a robo-squirrel to catch. Never mind. <gasps> Sorry about that. We're going to have to fix a lot of stuff when this is done. We just have to give him what he wants. That should do it. Robo Squirrel won't be able to resist a trail of nuts and bolts. When he gets here, he'll hit the trigger, lowering the cage, and voila! We got him! Here he comes! Hide! Gotcha! Yes! Should have seen that coming. Yep. What now? We need to stop him and get those nuts and bolts back. Well, squirrels like to hide the nuts they collect. So if we find his hiding place, we can catch him and get the nuts and bolts back. But how do we find it? I know just how. He's definitely 
here. Somewhere. Thanks, Bites. We know he's here. I can hear Robo Squirrel. I just can't see him. There he is! And he's got a ton of nuts and bolts up there. So how do we get way up there to get them? And him. What we need is something that can climb trees. Botterilla! Ooh, I like it. Botterilla, we need you. <laughs> we need you to get us up there so we can get Robo Squirrel and all the nuts and bolts he took. <laughs> Oh, no, you don't, Robo Squirrel. There's nowhere to go now. I did not see that coming. Okay, Botterilla, follow that Robo Squirrel. Up there! He's getting away! <laughs> Don't worry, we'll get him. Hmm, where would I go if I were a hungry robo squirrel? Oh, probably to the thing with the most nuts and bolts holding it together. Yep, the bridge. Robo Squirrel is already taking the bridge apart. And there's a train coming. We need to get there, now. Let's bounce, Botterilla. <laughs> it's going to collapse. Unless we stop him and fix it before the train arrives. But how? Robo Squirrel can take out bolts way faster than we can put them back in. And the bridge is huge. <laughs> I know you want to help, but you don't have the right tools to fix it. What if he did have the right tools? Let's combine it and design it. We'll start with Botterilla, because he can climb the bridge. Then we'll add a hard hat to keep us all safe from falling bridge parts. And last but not least, a riveting drill arm to put the bridge back together with super strong rusty rivets, rivets. Put it all together and we've got our plan. Time to go mobile.
squirrel's in trouble. Let's go, Drilla Gorilla. <laughs> No problem. You're welcome. <laughs> there, last nut and bolt. I thought we'd never get everything put back together. I'm just glad we found a better way for Robo Squirrel to get his fill of nuts and bolts. Yes. The back of my store was starting to pile up with his old junk. Now you can recycle it, and we can keep all the extra nuts and bolts. Plus, it's a much better way to keep Bites entertained. <laughs> <laughs> Rusty's Day of the Drones. Pressure looks good. Now I'll use the mega battery to give our cars a charge. Gotta love the mega battery. It gives us the power we need to charge our cars and run the whole rivet lab. Now I just need to tighten a few more bolts. Huh? Did you see the wrench I was just using? Nope. I'll go check in the lab. <gasps> Do you see my tablet anywhere? I just had it. Nope. Hmm. <laughs> hey, look, a drone. I wonder who it belongs to. I don't know. <laughs> Strange. I guess it went home. Okay, now let's look for my wrench and your tablet. Help us look, guys. <laughs> hmm, I found lots of stuff, but not my wrench. Hey, Rusty, come quick. Now the charging cables are missing. They were just plugged in. Something funny is going on. <laughs> Now there's more drones, and they're taking things, too. Hey, drop it! Ruby, I think I know where my wrench and your tablet went. Hmm. Oh, I have an idea. Whirly, ah! you can get our stuff back with your grappling hook. Jetpacks and get our stuff back. And we'll get a hand from some robo arms. Let's jet! Freeze, drones! Gotcha! Oh, no, you don't! Our tools! We have to catch them! Whew. It's good to have you back. <laughs> the drones escaped! My plan is coming together perfectly, Frankford. Because I am... the greatest inventor in the world! <laughs> ah! Rusty and Ruby are coming! Time to hide! Hide in the backyard! Hey, Frankie! Have you seen some 
drones. They took a bunch of our stuff. Oh, really? Weird. Have you checked over there? No, we'll take a look. Thanks. <laughs> Fooled them. With those two gone, it's time for part two of my perfect plan. My mega drone! Soon the whole rivet lab will be mine! <laughs> I don't see the drones anywhere. Neither do I. Let's head back to the recycling yard. Oh, hey, guys, what's wrong? <laughs> oh, no, they're taking the mega battery. It powers the entire mobile rivet lab. We have to get it back, or we won't have any power to build things or charge our cars. Oh, OK, Whirly, but there's still only one of you and lots of them. Aww. Wait. There might only be one little Whirly now, but we can modify her. To be a Mega Whirly. And we'll make you extra good at grabbing, too. Those drones won't have a chance. But we've got to do it quick, while the lab still has a little power left. Let's combine it. And design it. We'll start by replacing Whirly's propeller with a much bigger one. That'll make her faster and stronger, too. Then we'll add robo-arms to give Whirly some drone-grabbing power. And last but not least, a seat for me to ride in so I can control the robo-arms. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. The Mega Drone Grabber 9000! And just in time, the lab is out of power. Don't worry, we'll get our battery back. Go get him! I'll track the drones from the ground. <laughs> to Frankie's house. Yes! Here comes the mega battery for my mega drone. The mobile rivet lab is almost ours! <laughs> and the best part is, there's nothing rusty rivets can do to stop me. Because I'm the... greatest inventor in the world! Huh? Whoa! Frankie Fritz? So you're behind this. Don't you know you shouldn't take things that aren't yours? Uh-huh. Drones, stop them! These drones don't stand a chance against the Mega Drone Grabber 9000. <laughs> Taking this back to where it belongs. My mega battery! Don't you mean my mega battery? <laughs> oh no! Oh yes! My mega drone needs all the power it can get to pick up your mobile rivet lab. <laughs> Just stop it! Come on, Ruby! Come to Frankie. <laughs> he got the mobile rivet lab. Not yet. <laughs>
I wanted this day to end. Come on, Frankfurt. Help me push the greatest invention in the world home. Back where you belong. Ready, Ruby? Mega battery is back. What should we mega charge first? <laughs> Why not? <laughs> we might have given them a little too much power. <laughs> Walk on the small side. There! Hey, guys! My latest and greatest invention is ready! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited to see it! You've been keeping it a secret all morning. The Shrinker 9000! A tool that can shrink things down and size them back up with a simple zap. Try it out. I'll take this tin can to the testing area and... Hey, my can! That seagull loves shiny things. <laughs> Good thing I have backup empty tin cans. They're in the bin. Can you guys get them for me? <laughs> Come on, Ruby. Let's go finish setting up the testing area. We'll line up the cans along this beam and zap them. <laughs> How do we get big again? The Shrinker 9000. But it's way over there. We have to walk to the Shrinker, and that'll take weeks. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like the bits. They must be coming back with the tin cans. Which means they're headed here, to the testing area. Maybe they can help us get to the Shrinker 9000. Bits, we shrunk. Bits, come in. It's not working. Our devices are too small now. We're gonna have to get their attention the old-fashioned way. Hey, Daddy! Hey! Oh, Daddy! Hey, hey. <laughs> Wait! Get off! Hey, Daddy! Okay, that didn't work. They can't see us or hear us. Then we need to go higher. Let's climb the junk pile and hope someone will see us up there. Great idea! Let's race! Last one to the top is a bent antenna! <laughs> oh, my screwdriver! I've been looking for that! <laughs> Whoa! a climb up a junk pile could be. We must be high enough for someone to see us now. Or not. And with feet this tiny, it'll take forever to reach the top. Oh, I know what to do. We can build a catapult and launch ourselves to the top of the junk pile. Super fast. Great idea. And fun, too. Help me look for parts. Perfect. Will give us some string. And we can sit in this spoon. Add some string for slingshot action, and we have our ticket to the top. Gotta say, I never thought I'd be flung into the air by a spoon catapult. <laughs> this day just gets weirder and weirder. Isn't it awesome? Three, two, one, spoonapult! <laughs> 
I hope you land on something soft. Oh. Ah! Whew! Thank goodness! We landed on Mr. Wobblesworth. <laughs> We're definitely high enough now. Rusty! Ruby! Look, it's Liam! I got a new ball and it really wants to play catch. Liam! Liam! Right here! Liam, no! Rusty! Ruby! Where are you? Liam! Liam! We may be higher, but we're still too small to be heard. If no one can hear us or see us, we might be super small forever. Where are you? Rusty, Ruby. Where are you? We're up here! Liam! Help! There's no way Liam is going to hear us from down there. And we still have to get to the Shrinker 9000. Somehow. Wait, I have an idea. Maybe we can get Liam's attention another way, with things we find in the junk pile. This coin! We could shine it at him, but it's kind of small. Oh! How about we shine it into that tin can and light the whole can up? Yeah, he'll see that for sure. Help me lift the coin onto the screw. <laughs> <laughs> That's it! Look at all this stuff! We can make something that can fly us to the Shrinker 9000! Yeah, we may be tiny, but our ideas are still big. Let's combine it and design it! We'll start with this lid. We can use it as our cockpit. Then we'll add popsicle stick wings and make them flap with rubber band power. Put it all together, and we've got our plan. <laughs> Modified. <laughs> Customized. Rustified. <laughs> the parts pile plane 9000. Time to get cranking. <laughs> we'll get to the shrink ray in no time. Let me see if the magic light will give you a lucky coin too, Ralph. Okay. And I'll keep it for you. In my pocket, of course. Okay. Ooh. Hello, neat looking birdie. Captain Rusty. Lean left! Woohoo! Yeah! Now right! Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> the seagull is back! It must be looking for more shiny things! Oh no! The Shrinker 9000! Come back here! Give it back. Full speed ahead. <laughs> We're catching up.
trying, Tiny Ruby. You too, Tiny Rusty. Tiny high five. I'll zap you first. That was a big success. I have so many questions. We've got a pretty tall tale to tell you about two tiny friends. Once we lock up the Shrinker 9000. That's awesome! Ooh, ooh, and I have great stories to tell too. I got a lucky coin from a magic light. <laughs> Yeah, about that magic light. <laughs> I don't get it. Liam gets bird napped. One, two, three, go! Look at my flappy flyer go! Woohoo! Cool. Yeah, and my long-winged express went super far. Whoa! Whoa! That deserved a double whoa! That was awesome! Squirt, 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 squirt. Liam here! Squirt, squirt, squirt. Reporting for flying practice. Oh, um, it's airplane flying practice, Liam. Oops, doesn't matter. I like being a bird. I've always wanted to fly. Squawk! 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 Whoa! That's a really good bird costume. That's a real bird, Liam. And it's giant. Squawk! 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 She seems to be looking for something. She looks just like me. Wait, Liam, you don't know that bird. I'll introduce myself. I'm pretty sure I can speak bird. Squawk, 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 squawk. <laughs> I think she likes me. <laughs> I can fly! Whee! A giant bird took Liam. This is fun! He seems to like it. But a giant bird took Liam! Come on! Awesome! Ooh, comfy! Thanks, Mrs. Bird. Mr. Bird? Mama? Squawk, squawk, squawk! think Liam is a baby bird. She might be the best bird mama in the entire world. But Liam is not a baby bird. We better get him back. Time to bolt. Get 
Liam out of there. She wants him to do things only birds do, but she won't let us near him. I know what to do. We'll get the mama to leave the nest. Then, when she's gone, we'll rescue Liam. But how can we get her to leave the nest? With another kind of worm. A flying worm. Time to go mobile. A remote control, motorized, rustified kite with a fake worm attached to it. I'll get the mama bird to fly away from the nest. You rescue Liam. Will do. Whoa! I didn't know worms could fly kites. The bird figured out the worm is fake. It's headed back to the nest. Whoa! Nice, birdie. Whoa! I was just leaving! Phew! The bird is smart and her nest is hard to reach. Saving Liam is going to be harder than we thought. I know what to do. We have a friend who's super fast and a great climber, and she might be able to rescue Liam. Tigerbot! Great idea, Ruby. Tigerbot, we need you! Hello! Oh, right! We need your help rescuing Liam. Stealth mode. Hungry. I should probably go home pretty soon. You're doing great. Just get us close. Then we'll grab Liam. <sighs> <sighs> hey, Tiger Bot! <laughs> Yahoo! My friend Tiger Bot is Liam! A coincidence! Shh. Tiger Bot up here! No. <laughs> Whoa! It's okay. Tiger Bot is my friend. Taking Liam now, and how will we get him back? Oh no, the mama bird took Liam way up there. Yeah, it may have been fun for Liam to be a baby bird before, but not anymore. That's way too high. Huh? That's a strange-looking rock. Whoa! Oh, um, thanks, but I don't want to jump off a cliff. I can't fly, but I am good at checkers. She's trying to teach him how to fly by pushing him off the ledge. We need to get him away from that mama bird. But she's so fast and so good at flying. Hmm, then we need to be fast too. And we need to fly. Let's combine it and design it. First, we need wings so we can fly like a bird. Then we'll add jets so we can fly super fast. And last but not least, special flying helmets. Put it all together and we've got our plan. How are we going to get the mama bird away from Liam? Leave that to me. I'll distract her, you get Liam. Whoa, um, I can't really fly. I've tried a lot, but, but it never works. I want to get off this mountain, but not this fast. Help! Here, birdie, birdie, birdie. It is 
Excuse me. It talks! Oh, wait. Rusty, you're in a bird costume, too. Come on. Hold on tight. I've got him. Let's go. Awesome. Taking her baby, Rusty. Let's show her that Liam's a boy, not a bird. Then she won't be so sad. <coughs> Mrs. Mama Bird, this is Liam. He's a kid, not a bird. Yep. <coughs> I need to go home and do kid things. But I can visit and we can do bird things, which are really fun, except the worms and the cliff thing. Something's wrong. She's looking for something, like she was doing when we first met her. Hmm, I wonder. Hey, that wasn't a rock! Did you lose an egg? I'll be right back. Yep, that's her egg. It must have rolled down the mountain. She's gonna be a great mama. I think she's saying thank you. That means you're welcome. Maybe. We've got awesome flying machines now. So, wanna fly? Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. Whoa. 